Hi guys, welcome to Emissing School. Today, I will teach you guys how to a little a common thing that can happen to your this thing, to your stabilizer that will make it not to work. So here now we have it here. So this is totally done. It's not. It's totally bad. It's not working. So if if your if your if your transformer is not working, it's totally done. That it's not working. First of all, check the fuse. This this is where the fuse is. This is where the fuse. Just open the fuse. Check whether if this fuse is called because once anything happens to a, a stabilizer, it is first of all go to the fuse. Or for, for this for this 13 amp socket, you can check here. 13 amp plug, you can check here too. But if if you check here, if this place is, is okay, go to the fuse. Check if the fuse is okay. If the if, if if the fuse is okay, you know that maybe it's from the transformer. So here now, my my stabilizer is not working fine. So I've I find out that the problem. So so I find out that the problem is from the fuse. If you look at here. It's, Closely, you find out that the, the the metal wire here now is cut. So, what what I will need to do is to is to replace the the this thing, the fuse, so that the 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 the, the whole system will start working. If I, if I if I replace this fuse here, here now, if I replace it here, here this here, and use the cover. I will, use, I will use the cover to cover it. So this is the cover. I will use this cover to cover it here. After the replacement, and I'll on the the thing, the, the entire system will start working. So this is the work of the fuse. Once the fuse is cut, nothing will work again. So that the fuse prevents electric burn and all that thing. So that is short circuit. So that is why the fuse cut. So thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Thank you for subscribing. Please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell for other useful videos. Thanks.